Hello, welcome to Star Power Alchemy YouTube. My name is Alejandra Sofia, bringing to you the astrological news from the macrocosm to the microcosm of you to help you navigate your reality and the times we're living in. I'm tuning in to the week ahead from August 5th until August 12th, 2019. Little bit of a setup to really orient where we are now in our spiritual process, our creative process. So we are inside of a, a new moon in Leo that began, that initiated, that seeded on July 31st. And on July 31st, alongside the, the Leo new moon, 45 minutes later, Mercury moved direct. So we're really in a new energy cycle right now. And having left the eclipse season and that deep, emotional process we were in with ourselves in, in our personal story and our own our own relationship to our emotions and 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 what, how how we're building bridges to others or breaking or burning bridges or um all, all the key issues that we were really dealing with in that in the in the eclipse season please check out my videos below if you'd like to really tune in a little bit more closely again and review the recent past and a reminder that in which I go into a little bit in, in the uh, Leo New Moon video is that this new, even though we have Mercury direct, in the Leo New Moon chart, Mercury is stationed retrograde. So we're still in this er internal process of review uh, with Mercury stationing, even though Mercury has moved direct. So there is this energetic that we're in of moving forward, it's time to do things, uh, so communications that need to happen. So that's very much being experienced, but there's still a review of inner process that we're in, reviewing things and going back into the, the past in productive ways that are helping you with your identity, Leo. So Leo primes you, pulses you, it, we all have, the Leo sign journey in our charts. No matter if you have your, you don't have any planets or key key directions in the sign of Leo. It you we all have the Leo channel, and the Leo channel is essential for priming you deep inside from your core level. It's your core selfhood, your domain of you. It's fire over fire. And as I've spoken in previous videos, and for anyone who's listening to me the, for, for the first time, I work with two systems of astrology. I work with traditional astrology, and most deeply I work with star genesis. And it is a soul level astrology. And through using these two astrologies, there I, 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 I'm able to tune into the, uh, there's two elements to each sign elemental aspects. So with Leo, it's fire over fire. It's a traditional fire sign. And in the star Genesis, it's also a fire sign. Um, in the, to give another example, cancer, since we just, we're just moving out of cancer, cancer is a water sign, but it also has an underlying earth sign, which comes from the star Genesis. So which really allows me to tap in more deeply to the individual energies of these sign journeys. And so this sign journey of Leo, fire over fire, it's the only sign that is fire over fire. It's the only sign. It's core fire, core selfhood, who I am, what I love to do, um, what, what, this is really me, my individuality, and I'm going to come up with an idea that's really based on what, who I am, and I want to work, I want to do something that I really love, and I, I'm going to organize my reality, so that's one of the key things that's happening, that if you're not living in accordance with who you really are, that's what's happening, so there's, we're, we're syncing up, it's so important and crucial for our blueprint, uh, our human blueprint to get synchronized with the true human blueprint. And the true human do blueprint, we're meant to be in submission to our inner authority. That's the true, what we're submitting to. And in the submission, if this makes sense, the submission to the universal laws of like, that we, we really do live in a universe filled with law, but it's universal law that equalizes the field 
on on a uh, you know in terms of planet Earth, planet Earth is p playing out the melodrama of the confusion, the deep psychological, emotional, com emotional based confusion around uh, what it is to come into this planet of this realm we'll call it Earth of limitation. Now, when our ideologies, our emotional deep psychology gets twisted up and traumatized and wounded and wound up with identifying with polarizing, divisive and cruel ideologies that use the natural law, the, the hierarchy that is lives inside of natural universal law and uses it to claim supremacy uh, over others and I, I, you know, there's many examples as we all, as, as ever, what, what, whatever this is bringing up for you in terms of that, that unrightful way of applying this hierarchical universal law, the, the universal law that does have hierarchy in it. So, and it's, and, and that's this time that we're in of, it's really important to clear up these these old stories inside of us on a, on an individual levels on personal levels to really clear up the collective cultural problems that we have and as you see in this Amer this year uh, as we're we're moving into an election year and it's all up it's really playing itself out the division and 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 being completely uh increased by these shootings and recent shootings of this past weekend of somebody so there's just to speak to that really quick there's a really negative use of 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 the of the leo channel of claiming that kind of identity a really negative I, divisive ideology that looks down on people in and, 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 that we, and that we see being played out in, in powers of authority by, by you know, uh, really demonizing a, a city on, in the United States, Baltimore, you know, so like to, to speak so uh, um, looking down on, on the city of Baltimore, like those kinds of ideologies where it's this misuse and abuse of what hierarchy is. And so hierarchy, what the, the, the right use of hierarchy, the right use of, um, of, of uh, domination and authority. That's really what we're spiritually on a crucial level learning right now. Each of us, those of us who are learning that to how to be in dominion with yourself. So that's really pumping up the true Leo channel of love. Leo is the the channel of love, the fire of love, and I love me, and I love this earth, and and I love I, to to be in in full charge of yourself, and to and to really, you know, Leo. I feel music is one of those is is a major area. It's a crucial area, and in fact, I I would I'll say that that music is absolutely a channel for each one of us, like we need music it is the song of our soul and music is a place for the, your choice of music the kind of music you like to listen to the ways in which you identify with the music that's just an example of leo like where we through our music and the music we love how we find identity and how crucial it is so this week this week it is really honing in on the crucialness of defining yourself in a healthy way in an authentic way and there's a couple different ways that this definition's coming in of this is who i am i identify with this i mean we're really we're really in a time of multiple definitions in a way that the freedom to claim who we are and to define it and to claim it and to create groups around it right and um, and the need for that because we need our groups to support us and to create these bridges to each other and 
it's a really healthy system I believe in a holistic system, you know, and the, the need to claim who we are, especially when we're coming from times in which we weren't allowed to, we were stifled with who we are. We were, we were told and sold and, um, and inbred this ideology of what the American dream is, but you can't be this and you can't be that. And you, and then, you know, and, and, and more of that language, the more that language, that div divisive language, that is not accepting, not allowing this world to be colorful and diverse and really is as narrow minded, bland, <laughs> I, think, I think is a very bland, um, lacking in color uh, ideology. It's not colorful. And so that's, that's where I see that this time that we're in is choosing your colors choosing you know I, I even feel like we could we could all individually design our own personal flag right just as, just to really get that point across of like yeah this is who i am this is my flag of me of alejandra and that's just an example of what we need as 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 this world we need a, we, we need our individualities our healthy individualities our wholesome individualities not these negative individualities that really want to cause harm to a system and that to me is a twisted up psychology there. That's disease. That's disease. And, um, so this week of defining yourself and the richness, the importance of importance of defining yourself on every level, define yourself creatively. That's what Leo wants is like, this is who I am stylistically. And, 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 and this is how I want to dress. And this is what I want to like the, the thing Leo loves to play. Leo loves to play and, and, and Leo is, you know, an example of Leo that I always fall back on because I, I'm, I'm a child of the eighties. I'm a teenager of the eighties. And so Madonna was, is, and continues to be someone I, I, I love to tune into and very much appreciate her on a lot of levels. And I love her story. Her story is amazing. And she's fired up with Leo. She's got, she was born in a, on a Leo sun with a Leo sun and she was born with Venus and Leo. So she's a perfect example, I think at least to, to really, um, speak to the potential of one some of, of what this energy is, because these two key aspects to this week between August 5th and August 12th, we've got the sun in Leo and Venus in Leo making the primary aspects of this week to first Jupiter and Sagittarius who's stationing this week and moving direct and and then, uh, and then making quincunxes to Saturn in Capricorn retrograde, and then making another quincunx on the other side of the quincunx because there's there the, each sign has two quincunxes, and uh, quincunx, quincunxes to other signs. It's a 150 degree aspect. That's what the quincunx is. 100. And 50 degree aspects and those do those signs that have the, the quincunxing signs are very different from each other because they're they're different they're different uh, elements and they're different modalities so where leo is a el the element of fire and the modality is fixed it's a fixed fire sign so to use that leo language it's about fixing yourself in your identity you know, healthy fixation, you know, the healthy fixing yourself, understanding and through the fixation, the fixing of yourself, maybe fixation is, is uh, not the right uh, word, but, but I think we can, I can work with that as well. Like you're fixing yourself within your, with your own inner structure, fixing yourself like a, like a, like a tree claiming the ground that is your ground and stays there, stations there. That is where the tree is. <laughs> and in that, in that metaphor that also lives within our mythology of the tree taking root and growing from that. And that the very nature of being a human being and our individuality is working with that, that uh, metaphor as well. It, it, the, the human process is working with the natural energy. So we can, as we apply the 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 process of a butterfly cater, caterpillar turning into a butterfly you know the seed growing into a beautiful you know rooting itself blossom you know sprouting all the, all the process of nature is within the human blueprint so fixing yourself fixating and and in a healthy way who you are to blossom and grow those places inside of you in your garden um so this week of making back to the quincunx this 
this the, uh, the sign of Leo quincunx is Capricorn and quincunx is Neptune. So the other major uh, aspect that that the Sun and Venus are making at different times is a quincunx to Neptune. So those are the those are the main aspects this week that are really about you. Um, and I'm going to go back to Madonna, <laughs> um, the, the, who what the Sun and Venus are doing. So an example of the Sun and Venus in Leo is. There's this loud, like, this is who I am, and defining yourself, claiming who you are. M Madonna, in her early days uh, in New York, uh, tagged her name all over, like, the walls of New York. You know, she just tagged her name, Madonna. And, and that, to me, you know, she branched, she took, she took, she was marketing herself, you know? She... And in a really creative artistic way and hip way and being in New York and, and then taking a spray can and tagging her name, Madonna, you know, and people, you know, she still does that, right? Um, in, 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 in her new, her latest version of herself, how much she brands herself and gets herself out there by her, her, her birth name, Madonna. So, wow, she was given a name that worked perfect for her and and resonates with who she really is. And she's made a lot of money off of that and being who she is. And uh, so I, I see that as, a, as a, a great example and there's many other examples as well, but that kind of claiming your ground and boldly, loudly, and um, with fierceness, because there's a fierceness there to push past what other people think of you. And I know she cared about what other people think about her, but she had also this bold sassiness to her as well. And in the times, and I remember in the eighties, like she was also, you know, it was, it was still cool to be kind of mean to each other. And, and now it's actually turning out not to be cool, which is what I, what, what I love about what's happening right now. It's, it's, things are really shifting emotionally and, um, and, and there's a lot of, uh, positive deeper qualities of the heart that are coming out into the home as we're healing coming out into the open collectively and and especially with the mind body revolution uh domain of life in an arena of life there's, there's a lot of people and you see it all over youtube uh, the, all these uh forums of of really tapping into human potential and 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 healing ourselves emotionally that's fundamental to our process of healing our subjective story and so that's what we just you know that that really opened up this last month with the the previous lunar wave wave cycle and the eclipse season of endings and beginnings so as we continue through this month of leo uh this 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 week is really crucial for you claiming who you are and take the time I feel to to you know feel like to identify yourself you know write down like your sexuality what you're you know really coming up with a definition that feels true to you uh coming up and if and another way of just saying a definition is just a description of who you are and in a way that's just just you and and clearing out any parts of you that might feel ashamed of claiming those places and then even questioning the shame. Like, I really believe there's there's shame we've claimed that's like, why are we even, that's not shame. That's that's a cultural problem of, I, I that's just something where I feel like shame isn't, I, I know it's a layer that we all have to, uh, most of us that, or is common that we have to work through. There's something we feel ashamed about, but, but if we look at some of those places that we're feeling ashamed, like, um, re-question why you feel ashamed about that or why you're carrying guilt around that because I do believe we've been um, also taught to feel sh ashamed about things that we shouldn't feel ashamed about and guilty about things we shouldn't feel guilty about it's it's we're, we're really birthing a new world right now so being who you are boldly expressively is increasingly important and that's what this month is so uh, filled with and I uh, uh, it's I also want to remind that this is a week as Mercury's, so another thing that's happening this week, and it's at the end of the week, there's actually, this week ends very full. <laughs> so we've got two planets in, in a full way. We've got two planets this week that are stationing to move into different directions. We've got Jupiter in Sagittarius changing direction into direct motion out of retrograde, and then we've got Uranus in the sign of Taurus stationing to move uh, retrograde until 
January 11th, 2020. So with Jupiter and Uranus both going, changing direction on that day, and with Mercury also on that day of August 11th, Mercury moves into the sign of Leo. So, but, but the, 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 the Leo uh, new moon chart still has Mercury retrograde in it. So while we're moving forward with decisions, while we're moving forward with the, the, the connections we're making, the things that we're learning and that we need to learn about to help support our reality and the projects that, that we have that we're really um, beginning to take up and know this is what I have to do. And this is what I need to do. This is what I want to do. This is what it's time to do. And so getting the education that you need, getting the information that you need, but we're still in review of the past because throughout this whole month of in the in this this new moon month of Leo before the August 30th Virgo new, new moon, which that is an entirely new energetic uh, that li likely you're feeling like that's a month. That's the month we're really moving forward with a lot of things. Okay, yes, th yes on this, no on that. D this is what I'm doing, getting really clear. In this chart of the Leo New Moon, we Mercury is stationed direct or re retrograde. So we're still in this process of reviewing the past. So keep reviewing the past. Keep reviewing your personal story. Keep reviewing your emotional process and 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 make the improve make the shifts. The, that you need to make to really see like, oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm actually shutting down emotionally here and I'm going into some old story and, and, and get more and continue to get clear because remember cancer is ruled by the moon. Continue to look, look at where you got caught up in a way of being that was actually you getting stuck inside of yourself or, or shutting down and, and getting, because cancer is a sign. There's a lot of wounding in the cancer sign and we build massive walls in the sign of cancer and we think that's the way we need to do things. That's just the way the world works. And no, this world's changing. This world wants emotional warmth. And that's where all the loneliness is. That's where all the identifying with these negative ideologies are. And and personally, that's where, that's where these these massive walls have massive creativity and they have massive love inside of them. So that's why continuing to chisel away and fine tune your own emotional process and really fine tune it using your relationships because we're in constant relationship in this world, constant relation. This is a world of relationship, this realm where, so every, every relationship is going to bring up our process one way or another of how, how, what we're thinking about ourselves and what we're thinking about other people. And the more you look closely emotionally feel how, oh, my, oh, that's actually me shutting down and slinking away. And I'm not fully showing up to this engagement. I'm not fully showing up to this person or, oh, this is me. I'm actually, oh, wow. Actually what I'm doing is I'm looking down on that person and I think I'm better than them. And that's a lot to get real about as well when we have those kinds of ideologies or or on the other end of things, I think they're better than me, therefore I'm submitting my power and I'm in and giving over my authority. All those nuances that the power and authority, submission and suppression and domination and control, like we're really learning to claim our spiritual ground, our core spiritual uh, selfhood through natural law of claiming your authority and claiming who you are and claiming your pride, the healthy pride and not the health, the pride that creates arrogance. It's the healthy pride that makes you stand upright. It, that it's a healthy pride that makes you have self-respect and in having self-respect, you have respect for others. And so it's really uh, priming the heart, the heart frequency. And Leo rules the heart. Leo rules the, the fiery heart, the heart of radiance, the spiritual heart, and, and, the, and the, the four chakra, the, the anahata chakra, which is the bridging, the bridging energy center in the human blueprint. So we need the heart to energize all the other energy centers in, our, in ourself. And, and that's where you, it is through your own heart that you really claim your style, you claim who you are and you express yourself. And, and there's evidence of that all over the world. I mean, we, you know, especially the people who are, you know, really uh, dumb, you know, people who like, I think so the, the social media, like Instagram is a great way to see all the examples of people claiming their domains and expressing themselves and, 
and uh, and this is who I am in healthy ways. So it, it's unhealthy to feel bad about who we are because other people are amazing. You're just as amazing as everybody else. And that's where I feel that that's this healthy exchange of being in a field of lions where we're not eating each other up and getting into these unhealthy fights, but we're learning to play with each other. The sign of Libra, uh, even the sign of Pisces wants, wants a team, wants to play with other people and learning to uplift yourself and uplift others rather than living in and in, in really clearing those those ideologies of me first and I just got my agenda first and I got to fend for myself and that's that's the way this world works and all these examples in the world and 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 in generations past I mean we, that that it's it's um it's powerful to step on other people and and that's con and well and to get ahead in the world no it's not powerful that's it's we're, we're really needing to move from cruelty to compassion and in every way, in every way, from our attitudes towards money, our attitudes towards people and all people, and our attitudes towards the planet, towards the environment. It's, we need to move out of these self, unhealthy, narcissistic, psychologically um, deadening, <laughs> psychopathic, sociopathic viewpoints. So, so this is, this is a really important week to, to really define yourself in these fields that you love to play in and stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be filming a video this week on this upcoming Jupiter and Uranus moving, changing directions and on August 11th and stay tuned for more. Send me an email at starpoweralchemy at gmail.com. If you'd like to reach out, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in.